हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन द बॉडी ऑफ बॉयलर फीड रेगुलेटर चेक वॉल इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द पार्ट एंड इफ यू सी ऑल अराउंड इट लुक्स लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू सी द सेक्शन व्यू it looks like this so this is the front section and if you go for top section it looks like this now let's see the drawing so this is the drawing this is the front section view and this is the top section view so this drawing looks bit complicated but it is damn simple so let's design this part and understand it and for that first you go to new part solid assign the proper name and check use default template and say okay now from here you select the proper part template so i'll go with this template this is a metric template and i'll say okay now to design this part there are two major areas one is this one and another one is this one so i'll start with this area and for this i will go for revolve on to the front datum plane normal switch off all the datums now since it is a revolve feature first i will place a datum center line somewhere here and then a sketch center line somewhere here once this is done sketch the first entity just like this now i'm fixing this position somewhere here now the dimension so this dimension is that 225 and this gap is 120 Once this is done, draw the rough sketch. So start like this, go like this, then come down, then this side. Avoid this equal constraint. Come down, then go this side, then down, then this side, then down. Avoid equal constraint. This side, close the sketch. now before applying the dimension first apply all the constraint so first you go for equal this line segment should be equal with this then go for vertical constraint and make this point in line with this because this dia and this dia is same next thing is go to symmetry and make this point and this point symmetry with this now the dimension so this is 25 this dia is 132 then this gap is 110 this is 97 now this gap they have given radius 82 so take one sided dimension make it 82 now once again go to vertical and make this point in line with this because this dia and this dia are same now your sketch is done just say okay and okay so the first feature is done now the second feature which is this feature and for this once again i'll go for revolve now this revolve will come onto this datum plane which is my top datum plane so if i switch on my datum planes and go for front view you can see here this datum plane this is the top datum plane which is exactly in this location so i can use this datum plane to create this revolve feature so i'll go for revolve and i'll select my top datum plane normal now here once again first i will place a datum center line somewhere here 
I'll switch off my datum plane. Now this gap you have 145. Then place a sketch center line somewhere here. Now draw the sketch. So start with the first entity. Draw like this. Now this dia is dia 190. Then complete your rough sketch. So draw like this, go like this and place like this. Select all these entities, go for mirror and mirror it. Now close the sketch, just like this. Now the dimension. So this is 20. This gap from here till here, this is 280. Then this dia, you have dia 97. Sketch is done, say OK and OK. So, we've created two features. Now, the third feature is this connecting portion. So, for this, I have this diameter as a 97, which is equal to this dia. So, I will extrude a circle from this datum plane till this reference. So, what I will do is first I will switch on all my datums and then I will go for extrude onto the right datum plane. Now, here I will just draw a circle onto this location. Now, make it normal. Go for reference, select this edge as a reference and then make this circle tangent with this reference. So, now this circle is linked with this dia. So, if this dia changes, this will also change. Now, just say OK. Flip the direction, uncheck remove material and then you go for two selected and select the center axis. Say OK. Now, let us create a section view. So, go to the view section and select front datum plane. Rename it to section A and say OK. So, now you have the section A which is like this. Now, we have done all add material features. Now, we need to create all remove material feature. So, the first remove material feature is again a revolve feature here. So, go for revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, place a datum center line somewhere here, then go for reference, select this surface and this surface, place a sketch center line somewhere here, go for clip model. And now you start the rough sketch. So, start from here, go like this, come down, then this side, then again come down, then this side, then down, this side, down, this side, then this side, this side, down, then again this side. Till here, go this side, this, this and close it. Now, once this is done, I will just hide the dimension. Now, first you delete all equal constraint, if you have any. So, I have deleted all equal constraint. Now, I will just switch on the dimensions. Now, once you have deleted all the equal constraint, now apply the required constraint. So, I will go to vertical and I will make this point in line with this because this dia and this dia are same. 
then I'll go for symmetry and I'll make this point and this point symmetry with this. Now apply the dimension. So I'll start from here. So this dimension, this is 6, this is 9, this dia, this is 93, this is 100. Now this diameter, this is 132, this is 65. Now this is 92, this is 73, this dia is 88 and this dia is 75. Now this is 10, this is also 10 and this is 22 and the sketch is done. Now just say ok and ok. Go for section view. So, this material is removed. Now, this material now to remove this material, I will simply go for extrude. I will select this face normal reference, select the outer edge, draw a circle. This die is 65 and say ok. Flip the direction, go for to next, say ok. Once again go for section, normal. So, you see this material is removed, this material is removed. Now, we just need to clear this connecting material and for this once again I will go to extrude. I will switch on all my datums. Now go for sketch and select the right datum plane. Sketch, draw the circle. Once again go for normal, reference and this time you select the inner edge as a reference. Again go for tangent, make this circle tangent with this reference and say ok. Flip the direction and go for remove material. Now you see, if you remove this material like this, you are still getting this corner, move it little more. Now this is correct, but if you still move it further, it will start removing this material. So that means, if you remove the material till this center axis, you will get the correct result. So, go for two selected and select this center axis and say ok. So, now you see the section view, you are getting this section. So, all add material features and remove material features are done. Now add all these holes. So for this I will go to hole, I will switch on all my datums and then I will select this face. Go to placement, make it diameter placement, drag this handle to this axis and this handle to this datum plane. Now this is PCD which is 185. And this is the angle which will be 22.5 degree. Change the depth to 2 next and say ok. Pattern this hole, go to axis pattern, select the center axis, make it 8 numbers onto 360 degree, say ok. So the top holes are done, now I will create the bottom hole. And for that, you can recreate all the holes or you can simply copy these holes, control C and paste it, control V onto this bottom face. So, just select the center axis and say OK. 
and then select this face go for placement diameter placement drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane make it 22.5 and this 185 and say ok you got all the result now if you see these holes this is also 20.5 dia so same thing once again i'll do i'll select this feature control c and control v i'll select this axis i'll say okay and then i'll select this face go to diameter position drag one handle to the center axis and one handle to this datum plane same thing make it 22.5 and this dia is different 150 say okay you got the holes same thing one more time select this control c and control v this time you select this center axis say okay and then you select this face go for placement diameter placement drag one handle to this center axis another handle to this datum plane angle 22.5 and pcd 150 say okay and you have done all the holes now if i go for section view I am getting this kind of view. Now let us create the top section view. So once again go to view, section, select the top plane. This you make it section B and say OK. You see you are getting this kind of view. Now the rounds, so if you see this entire drawing, you have only one round here R6, that means most of the rounds available here is R6. So let us create the round, select this edge, make it R6, hold the control key, select this edge, this edge, this one, this one this one then this one say ok once again modify this round and select this one also say ok now once again go for section view and place the inner round so go for round Select this edge, this, then you have this, this, then this one, then you have this one. Say okay. Now the next round is this edge, this is 22, say ok, same way one more time, this edge, say ok. Now once that is done, Go for the next round, this time once again 6, this is 6, this is 6, this is also 6, so it is not forming, say ok. Go for separate round for this edge, so 
So this is not forming. Uncheck this. Create this round. Say OK. One more time round. Select this edge. Say OK. So adding round is sometimes very difficult because it continuously fail. So sometime you need to do R and D to add the round. So this round is again radius 22. So why this round and this round is radius 22? Because when you have the outer round 6, then this round will be 6 plus the thickness. So the thickness is 16. So 16 plus 6 is 22. So now if I go for top view, you see I have top view like this. So this is exactly matching with this. Now if I go for front section, this is also matching with this. You see this corner exactly matching with this. So now this part is done. Now you can practice this part to improve your skill and you can become my channel member to support my channel. So that's it from this video. So this was boiler feed regulator check valve in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.